A bill to redraw Louisiana's congressional maps moves forward after the state Senate votes it in favor today. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jade Morrow. The proposal backed by Governor Jeff Landry would split Calcasieu Parish into two separate districts. Andrea Robinson has more on the vote and why at least one local leader is not in favor of the move. With a 27 to 11 vote at the Capitol, Senate Bill 8 moves forward to fulfill a federal judge's demand for the state to add a second black majority district. As you know, Louisiana congressional districts must be drawn given the Federal Voting Rights Act lit litigation. However, not all in favor were excited to cast their vote. The congressional map before us, a construct far from our ideal, now demands our reluctant endorsement. While the map isn't ideal to many Republican lawmakers, its author, Senator Glenn Womack, says the proposal works to keep GOP power in the state intact. Bill best achieve the goals of protecting Congress from let low seat, maintaining our strong district for Speaker Johnson, as well as Majority Leader Steve Scalise ensuring four Republican districts and adhering to the command of the federal court. Democratic Senator Gary Carter says he has serious concerns about Womack's proposed map, saying it dilutes black voting power in District 2, despite it being a minority majority district. It must be amended, but I stand in support of it today, and I speak only for today. Others think amendments are needed too, but for different reasons. Like Charles Marinick Hunter points to what he sees as a problem for Calcasieu, a split of the parish in the new map. To have that parish be split up into two separate congressional districts, I just think is a travesty. We already struggle right now getting the right attention and the right uh, support from Washington, D.C. I think splitting Calcasieu Parish will make that even worse. He foresees complications down the line if this proposal moves forward as is. Imagine someone on one side of the street calling one congressman for uh, a natural disaster issue and their neighbor on the other side of the street having to talk to another congressman. It's just maddening and with what we've been through in southwest Louisiana over the last three or four years, we deserve to have one congressman representing Calcasieu Parish. Andrea Robinson, 7 News. The redistricting map heads to the House for debate. The state legislature must have a new map drawn by the January 31st deadline.